Thank you very much. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, amazing sunset here on the southern tip of Africa. We are starting today's video in reverse. Such an amazing day. Uh, everyone I'm with, we just had a very, very blessed day today. We started off filming Rob's sable hunt. I'll link Rob's channel down below. And then I also got to film another hunt with Ryan. And then I got to hunt for myself and go after an Anyala, which is one of the animals that I've I've wanted to go after. It's been a, an incredible experience so far getting to see all the animals, but yesterday was such a hard day. I went on so many different stalks and was unsuccessful. I knew that today going, trying bow hunting was gonna be very tough, but got the opportunity to go out and an Inyala came within bow range. So everyone, I would like to tell this story now of my first Anyala ever with a bow. Okay, you guys, we've got a Nyala. And it's back in this brush back here. He's lying down, so I'm gonna take my bow. We're gonna put a stalk on him. Rob is sick right now with his eye, so he's not here, but I'm just going with Patrick and his son Ryan, and we're gonna see if we can get on this Nyala. This is a big, big goal of mine to try to get one of these on this trip with my bow. We're in a good possession. Let's go see if we can do it. for you i can't believe it i can't believe you said that long yeah you're right 10 seconds he was 30 exactly yeah, yeah 30. 30 exactly. i think we just got a nyala with a bow we saw him as we were coming in from rob's sable hunt i looked at him i was like i think that's a nyala and patrick said let's try to make a stock on him and they've been elusive this whole time so we drove past him and we walked back about 80 yards and he was still there in the same spot. He bedded down in some brush. The wind was a little off, but he gave us a chance. So I shot him a little high, but I think it's gonna be okay. I'm shaking. That is awesome. That is an incredible animal. That was top of my list here. That and a water buck, so thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Well done, man. Good awesome. shooting. Good shooting. Awesome. I just walked back to the truck to grab my pack and my tripod. I literally just filmed that with my GoPro. So much difficulty yesterday and we went on probably six or seven stalks trying to go on a Nyala or a water buck. I feel very, very fortunate right now. We're gonna let this guy rest a little bit uh, and then we're gonna go see how the shot is. The, the vitals on African animal, animals are a little farther forward. I was really aiming right for the shoulder and I, I hit him a little high uh, and a little back, but I, I think I still double lunged him. Just the, just the sheer fact that I hit the Nyala, good spot, 90% sure he's gonna be down. I feel amazing right now after knowing how hard it is. And I've heard stories of people just coming back for years trying to get a Nyala with a bow. And we just, we just made it happen. I feel lucky. Thank you, Lord, for that opportunity because there was a lot of stocks that we went on where I was like, I don't know if this is even possible. Let's go uh, look for some blood and hopefully Nyala is down. Thank you. 
Me and Patrick have been looking for uh, for the blood trail for about 10 minutes now. Good blood coming out of the woods. And then once it gets out of here in the pasture, it kind of thins out. I've seen that with whitetails sometimes. They'll, you'll get blood in the beginning and then they'll, they'll tense up everything in their body as they're running and then it kind of quits. And then once they relax, uh, it really starts spewing out again. These animals are extremely tough. And uh, now it's time to call in Cephas. Cephas is, uh, he's a professional hunter here, tracker uh, and guide. He's extremely good at what he does. He knows how to look at tracks, directions, blood, everything. So we're gonna get him to come up here and help us and track down this Nyala. We're still waiting for Cephas to get here, but as we're waiting, we've actually tracked him. There's our buddy Ryan and uh, David, who's another guide here, and we've tracked little bits of blood all the way up that hill, about another 50 yards. Honestly, I kind of want to wait for Cephas and just film him. From what I hear, he's just, he's amazing. Like he can look at tracks in the dirt, um, in the grass, he, you know, different directions going on and obviously track blood extremely well. And I want to try to learn some things from him. This is very similar to a whitetail situation that I've, I've seen before. Sometimes you, you nick along and you know, the animal's gonna die, but uh, you just get a little bit of blood or sometimes you heart shoot them and then they, they kind of close up and you don't see blood for a long time. It's just little spatters and then the deer's just dead. The big difference is uh, this is a Nyala, which is much bigger than a whitetail and much more tough. But I think with a little good luck and some skill from Cephas, we're gonna be okay. What's that, Patrick? I knew he wasn't wrong, I knew it was a good shot. Oh my gosh. That's a good shot. Nice job. Well done, buddy. Hey, Ryan. Both Ryans. Well done. <laughs> Both Ryans were tracking. Ryan, good Ryan. job, Ryan. That's Patrick's son right there. He found the last blood. He ran into the woods where they feel the safest. Oh, wow. That's the crash we heard for sure, then. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I shot him a little high and back. Yeah, but, but he went down. Still lunged him. Right past us and took yeah, David did too. I took that trail right there. We all did. We walked right past him. We walked all over and he was... Uh, he wasn't far from Yeah, me. I'm going to say he was probably 75. 75 yeah. yards as a crow flies. Oh, that makes me feel Hell awesome, yeah. man. Get it with a bow, brother. Yeah, man. You got it done. <laughs> Woo! Got it done. That's awesome. Have to eat its liver. I have to eat its liver. I'm fine with that, Ryan. So here, here's, a, here's a South African tradition. When you kill your first buck, I have to be... Knighted. Crescent, knighted, <laughs> with blood. Okay, Ryan, go ahead. A sambe! A sambe! <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Thank you very much. I'm honored. Also, uh, is it but? But. He's officially a but. But. That means brother. That's like a uh, Afrikaans term. Yeah. So, you I've officially... A, an African but. An African but. <laughs> Bow kill. On a Nyala. Did it, baby. David, we walked right by him, all three of us. So many times. <laughs> very nice. Got him. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay, Cephas is here to help now. Luckily, we didn't we didn't have to use his amazing tracking abilities. Cephas has been busy today. He's uh, it's actually he was just cleaning Ryan's. Uh, water buck, right? Yes. Got a water buck today. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. You've had two other animals here as well? Impala and Nyala. Impala and a Nyala. So, so Ryan shot a Nyala as well yesterday. Had multiple attempts where they disappeared on him as well, even with a rifle. Okay, what's the plan here, Cephas? Oh yeah, there's that gurgle. Easing up. Here we are. This is your biggest animal. Oh yeah. Put his head in again. Put his head in there. There we go. Incredible, incredible animal. This is uh, this is a special experience right here. Getting to take one of these with a bow. I want to say special thanks to Patrick and uh, all of his guys out here that have helped us get on one of these animals and just been incredibly accommodating this week. Awesome, awesome animal. I cannot wait 
to see what OSG says about this. She did not know that I was gonna get one of these. I told her I, for sure a water buck, but this is gonna be a special surprise. I'm not gonna tell her until I get back. So awesome experience. Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate you. Can I get these stepping guys to come help us? Oh yeah. Foot first or head first? Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Justin. In the salt, brother. Thank you. Well done. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well done. The first animal you ever shoot, put the blood on your face, take a bite of the liver. So do I need to do that? Eat raw liver. You don't have to. It's not. I have the blood on my forehead already. You want to try some liver? I guess I need to try some liver. You think I'll get sick or no? No, no, no. Officially, I've gotten I've gotten the blood from the Nyala, Nyala, correct? Yeah, Nyala. Yeah, Nyala. They say it pretty quick here. This is liver. I'm doing this. This is tradition, right? Yeah. You're not you're not joking with me. I promise you, I've done it. Okay. And David, he has gone through official uh, school here with to be like a expert in the wild. He grew up in Zimbabwe, correct? Yes. So he knows all the traditions. He's not messing around with me. Here's liver. Gonna eat it now. I'll be honest with you, that's not bad. It's a little gamey, but it's not crazy. It's not crazy. It's not terrible. It's just not your favorite, huh, David? No. But hey, are you yeah. proud of me for doing it? Yeah, good effort. I'm impressed. And when we cook it, it's, it's very nice. It's got a bit of an irony taste. Yeah. Just threw that knife in the ground like, like a ninja. <laughs> Wait a second. Well, that didn't go well. Did you give him the liver? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't work for everyone. No. <laughs> uh, maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I just was in the moment with it. I presume. <laughs> It's quite a nice snack though, you cook it on the fire. Yeah, I can see a little seared. Liver and the heart, yeah. Absolutely. So, these are all animals that have been uh, shot in the last couple days. Would you like some water? There's, uh, Rob's got a sable in here. Um, there's a, a reed buck in here. There's Nyala, there's a water buck. There is a, what am I missing? Another Nyala. Uh, another Nyala. And, and then an Impala. None of the meat goes to waste here. We're actually having a big barbecue tonight with uh, some, a lot of the other meat that has been taken here. They run a camp here that is uh, specifically for um, young men that want to learn more about the outdoors. Hardcore outdoors. I'm talking they, they put them out in the African bush in the wild. They have to survive five days. And the course is actually seven months long. They run like six miles a day they they do just bushcraft and all sorts of things and david one of the guides here he did that he did it for 10 months if you're in the mood for an incredible life experience and you have seven months to go away and learn new experiences quest africa thank you david for letting me try some of that it's not bad ryan not a fan it was just the texture. It was a little crunchy. Yeah, I shouldn't have put it on my tongue. I should have just straight chewed it. Yeah. Here, let me try another tiny, 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 tiny piece. <laughs> maybe try a different piece. Like maybe one of these that's not sitting on the stomach, because that was the first throw off. Because it smelled like poo. Stomach, heart, a little bit. <laughs> still not so lack. Okay, still, still, uh, not hammering down with it. Liver, stomach. Some lung. Some lung. And this is just extra, extra meat along the ribs. Okay, so we're also gonna check out the salt room. This is where they keep keep the animals. And uh, my knowledge might, it might be in here. We'll see.
what do we have here? This is everything we've gotten this week so far. So. Okay. What about the father, Yipa, and other new You could rack them up, right? I'm trying to. Literally, you've racked them up. And by the end of this, this turns into that form. Yeah. So there's also meat processing that happens here that's for sale. What in this room? All of this. So it's cattle plus wild game. That's my impala, right? Yeah, all this good for lead up there. They lay them on top of each other. So the salting process will just help preserve them until we can... Yeah, the salting process drives the meat, penetrates 5 millimeters into the skin. That's why they skin their faces up like that to get everything best in 5 millimeters on both sides. And they pile up with salt absolutely everywhere. So all the skins are in here. Yeah, all the skins will be piled up. You can see the tag now. And then that gets shipped up to the taxidermist and he does his work. Uses that and that and turns it into a shoulder mount for whatever you go. What Amazing. You to Full blown operation. You got it down pat. Okay, y'all. I think we're gonna shut this video down here. It's been an incredible day accomplished a, a huge goal for the trip. I was, I was worried after day one going on so many stocks and the bow hunting just being extremely tough with the wind swirling, the wind blowing the bow around and having to make really long shots, but just got really blessed today. I happened to be looking out the window of the truck and seeing a Nyala in the brush and every time we've seen them, they just seem to disappear. You know, we'll see them like that, try to make a stock and they're just, they either wind you or uh, they just hear you. They have very, very good senses here. To kill any of these animals with a bow is, is a trophy. And I got an old mature bull and I'm so excited about that. Up next, there's, there's a few more animals that I have my eye on. One being a water buck and that's, gonna, that's a bigger challenge. They're just a lot wittier. Uh, they're bigger. They're just a tougher animal. Both of those animals have been tough, but the water buck if I can get one of those, it'll be an extreme trophy with a bow. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Hit the like button for getting my first African animal in Inyala and then actually experiencing the whole entire thing. I have taken the blood on my face. I have eaten the liver. I am full blown dedicated to bow hunting here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot more left and I'll see you on the next one.